In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily add wheels to any maker pipe build. Let's do it. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. A few months ago, Rustin shared this awesome disc golf caddy with the community. Now on this caddy, he used a really clever and simple axle design to mount the wheels. And he used only off the shelf components, which I thought was a great way so I'm gonna show you how we did it so you can add mobility to your next maker pipe project. Let's go over the parts we need for his design. Now, it's important to note first that the wheels we're using are designed to have a 5 8 inch wheel bearing hole. So we have our two wheels with the 5 8 inch wheel bearing, and you're gonna need a threaded rod that's 5 8 inches, and you're gonna need 3 quarter inch conduit, hex or shims, which I'll get to in just a second. Then you're gonna need two 5 8 inch nuts, and two stop nuts. Then you're gonna need two wrenches and a conduit cutter. And that's all you're gonna need to be able to make this axle. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is add the nut to the threaded rod. Just wanna put it on far enough so we have enough room for the wheel and the stop nut. Should be good there. Then we're gonna add the wheel and then the stop nut. Hand tighten, then we can use our wrenches to tighten. Should be good. Just wanna make sure those still move. Okay, now we're gonna add the conduit. And if we just slid the conduit over the rod as it is, we would get some movement that we don't want. So we're gonna use three quarter inch pecs to fill that gap. And we sell three quarter inch pecs shims on our site for 10 cents a piece that we pre-cut for you with the slit in the middle. But we also found that if you wanna make your own, you can get some three quarter inch pecs from your local hardware store and then use a table saw to cut the slit out of the side. Once you have your pecs or your shims, you just add that to the threaded rod. Now we add the conduit. One thing to note that is if you use conduit with cut ends, which most of you probably will be, you're gonna have a lip on the inside. So what you're gonna wanna do is take the reamer tool that's inside and deburr the conduit all the way until it's completely flat on the inside of both ends. That makes it easier to slide the conduit over the pecs and the rod. Once you do that, you just slide all the way down. You might have to squeeze the shims a little bit, help it go over them. Just slide all the way down until you touch the nut on the other side. Now, all you gotta do is add the other nut all the way until it touches the conduit end. Then we'll add the second wheel and then the stop nut. That on there, and then we'll just tighten. All right, so we'll just tighten this stop nut. Until it's tight. Make sure it's tight on both sides. This one's still a little loose. There we go. All right, now it's tight and we've got our axle. And since we use three quarter inch conduit, we can add connectors directly to it and build from here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna build a really cool kayak cart that I saw Nancy shared the other day. And so I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back soon.
As you can tell, that is the kayak cart. It works great. The axle is super strong. I'm excited to put it to use. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys learned something. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.